Good morning, folks. If you didn't catch last night's special upload, Secretary General of the World Meteorological Organization at the UN crushed the spirit of the climate demonstration set to begin today and last for a week. It was as much a whip around as the plasma filament does here on the south looking in 304 angstroms. Link is below to that video. Check it out. But we've got some incredible news this morning as well, so let's go to spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on our star was relatively calm except for the filament dance on the south. Coronal hole magnetically connecting to Earth today with its solar wind three days away and the next coronal hole visible on the left. The solar wind is calm as we await those intensified streams. Geomagnetic conditions finally reaching a calm stretch for the first time this month. Looking at the polar vortices, continued breakdown occurs in the south as more cells emerge, will gain size, pushing out and destabilizing that upper level flow there. Meanwhile, as promised, it is kicking up in the north. Three weeks ago there was no rotation whatsoever and now the cold season begins and the vortex forms. It is forecast to have a weak season though which spells tremendous cold this winter for Europe if not much of the northern hemisphere. So folks, the sun is plasma. Its dynamo is driven by magnetic phenomena, and so are the sunspots, solar flares, and major CME eruptions. This paper wholly upends mainstream dynamo thinking and describes a coaxial magnetic injection from north and south creating the dynamo. These helicity injections are described to produce currents and plasma action with resistive driven cycling of about 11 years. This rippling current sheet you see in the solar system will be a topic again It'll be scaled up in just a moment. But first, speaking of helicity, they studied the central galactic radio arcs. Radio waves are produced by electrons accelerated. So with them in a linear current with minor kink instabilities, you should see the faint dust and gas wrapping around it. That is exactly what it looks like. Matter caught in the magnetic fields surrounding the electric current making the radio arc. And so we combine the electromagnetic Milky Way engine with the scaled up solar system current sheet to the galactic level. Folks, a terrific new magnetic model of the galaxy takes that coherent fields concept and maps out the expected distribution of cosmic rays. Unlike the old model on the right, where proton scatter expels mostly north and south with the cosmic jets, the new model on the left has both the ups and downs of the cosmic jets and the flat planar sheet of electric particles visible. It's there in the galaxy, and catastrophe cycle followers know that's all you need for a cyclical solar flash. This plane hides a great deal of reality, and the truth of dynamics throughout history, and today we see one of those aspects being rewritten. Folks, they have modeled the dwarf galaxies surrounding the Milky Way and determined they don't need to have any dark matter. It's a function of their missing mass being real mass stripped or left behind during these highly dynamical moments. Folks, this comes as five straight major circumgalactic medium studies go electroplasma and imply magnetism over gravitational chaos. And now we get it for the subcomponents of the galaxy, the biggest group chunks sticking around but not exactly spinning with the program. Folks, the climate stuff, the cosmology and dark matter fail, the current sheet of the galaxy causing the solar catastrophe. All these items are linked right below the video in the description box, and I assure you, the shift is underway. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.15 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.